So he was Speaker of the House of Representatives, and he was absolutely over it. Uh, this is what he said. He said, quote, as you all know, for something like three years, and especially the last 19 and a half months, I have been very closely tied to Washington. Although I have enjoyed hugely being here with you, ladies and gentlemen, I do have the very great desire for a few days sniffing a different atmosphere. <laughs> this is from the U.S. Speaker of the House at the time, Sam Rayburn, uh, speaking on the floor of Congress, August 1941. I have a, a very great desire of sniffing a different atmosphere, as opposed to yours, which I am sick of sniffing. Uh, he then just spelled it out even more plainly. He said, quote, I am homesick. I want to go home tomorrow. And his colleagues in the House of Representatives let him. Uh, they allowed him to go home, to sniff home. They voted in a temporary speaker, a speaker pro tem, so uh, Mr. Rayburn could go back home for a few days and, and rest up. It happens. A quarter century later, 1966, similar situation. Speaker of the House at that time wanted to leave town for a few days. He said he wanted to give a speech to the Massachusetts state legislature. He said he'd have to be away to go do that, so please vote in a temporary speaker in my absence to take care of business. Um, it was no big deal. People apparently didn't even care that while he was home, supposedly to talk to the state legislature, where he turned up in the papers was at the big Boston St. Patrick's Day parade in Southie. So really what he meant to ask for was, hey, do you mind giving us a new speaker for a few days? I want to go drink green beer in South Boston. He didn't put it that way. He asked for a different reason, but it was no big deal. It happened. 1939, Speaker William Bankhead told his colleagues he needed a break because he was, quote, a little bit tired. They said, OK. In 1940, he told his fellow lawmakers that a case of the flu was holding him, holding on to him, quote, with great tenacity. And he needed a few days off to have the flu. And yes, for when he was tired and for when he had the flu, we got a temporary Speaker of the House. It is not uncommon, at least it's not unheard of, to have the U.S. House of Representatives elect a temporary speaker for any number of reasons, even sort of cute reasons, even slightly disingenuous reasons about going to parades. But now we're looking at a situation where we're getting a speaker pro tem, apparently indefinitely, not because the, the real speaker is sick, but because the Republican Party is sick and it has no sign of getting better anytime soon.